Hello, Gabe Heller here, Chihon Zolan on YouTube and Hannah Brunkouch on Twitch. And uh, here's here's a, a video. So uh, my wife and I have been watching all of Technology Connections, uh, which we enjoy quite a bit. Uh, and he uh, had a thing about, about kettles. Now, he was comparing gas kettles and electric kettles. Uh, his gas kettle is rounded on the bottom. I mean, it's flat, but it's, it's rounded down. And as you can see, the kettle we have is somewhat different. It has a lip on the outside. And I suspect that kettles with a lip on the outside are going to be more efficient than kettles without. But I don't know. So, but we're going to try his experiment. So here we have the kettle and a liter of water. We're going to put in the kettle. Almost all of it went into the kettle. A little bit dripped down the side. This spout is not great. But it's the one that has a liter measurement. So, Okay. This is a regular size burner. This is a big burner. I might try that later, but we're going to try the regular size burner first. Okay, now, uh, somewhere here there is a timer. I think if I just click start stop, it's going to start. So, here we go. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see how long it takes to boil a little bit of water I'm using a normal burner, a fancy kettle with a lip on it. Oh, and of course, ventilation. Not quite centered on the burner, is it? Okay, let's. Uh... I think that's a little better. Yeah. Uh, my cat is making noise. Apparently, he wants to be in the video. Hello, cat. Yes. Say hi. Hi. He's looking at me. What's up? What is it? It's kind of dangerous over there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't explore that way if I were you. Claw is caught. Can you say hi to the internet yet? Hmm? Hi internet. Apparently he doesn't want down. Apparently he wants to be on my shoulder. Okay, you're on my shoulder now. How do you like it? go to sleep. Okay, good.
What now? This just gave you all the spoiled milk. Like almost a quart of spoiled milk. That's the back of the chair. Don't stand on the back of the chair. It's right next to the camera. If you knock the chair over, you'll probably knock the camera over. And then I'll have to start over again. What? Something got his attention. Not boiling yet, though. Messing up my mouse. What is it? What is it you need? Oh, I see steam coming out. Whistles peeping at six minutes and ten seconds. Now I think I have to stop recording now because it's loud. No, because uh, if I'm going to do his experiment, I need to start on the other burner from a, a cold kettle. So I'll see you in just a bit. All right, we're back. Uh, this time I remembered to measure the temperature of the water beforehand, and it is 73 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 20 degrees Celsius. It would take a few degrees. And this time we're on the big burner. Uh, I'm going to turn it up to high. The flames will lick the sides of even this on high. Uh, we'll see if we can get it to boil it just a little bit faster. Pretty well centered.
Oh, I'm seeing some steam coming out. It's taking a long time to actually get to whistling now. And now, smoke alarm's going off. There we go. They whistle at 5 minutes and 12 seconds. Very sensitive smoke alarm, but uh, it saved my life once, so that's why we keep it. Uh, but yeah, so not quite as fast as the mega burner on his stove, uh, but still reasonably fast. Bye for now.